Hey, buddy, Quad Nines here. You got some pack openings. A lot of pack openings. Um, for Christmas, I didn't really get anything magic related, but uh, my mother got me, um, somebody got me a $25 Barnes and Noble gift card. And I'm like, well, I hate to tell her, like, the last five books I've read were on my Kindle app on my phone. So and I guess you can get uh, some stuff like that from Barnes and Noble, but I was like, well, I can use it at Starbucks. No big deal. Get a magazine, something. But then I walk in and realize that they carry some magic cards. So I bought a bunch of packs with it. Seemed good. Uh, and on top of that, I was in Target taking something back, and they had one of the promo booster packs with the great full um, Hamlet back to life. Everybody wants that. But the things I looked in there, I could see this. Which means Return to Ravnica, Dark Ascension, and Innistrad, which I haven't seen in Innistrad pack in a, you know, a regular store in a, in a while. So I wanted to grab that. So we're just going to open all these. Right now, I think we'll start with the uh, corset. Maybe I'll open up a nice little needle vault so it's a spike to the. I think it's high, it's the highest it's just been reprinted. It's, it's, I think it's as high as any. Um, any rare, in, in, any non-mythic in the mythic era. It's like 30, 35, something like that. Which is pretty ridiculous. Got the voracious one. Uh, gnawing zombie. Diabolic tutor. And it's rare. Ooh, the wild ricochet. That might be the Hamlet back going out there. I don't know. It's a giant. Oh, yeah. Nice five cent rare. Uh, didn't, I wouldn't mind getting any five cents later. So I'll use that for that guy. So it's going to be good for, for pretty much ever. It looks like I might have a foil in the pack. A couple silvers. Okay. Blight Caster, which surprisingly doesn't see any play with all the enchantment heavy stuff in Theros. So. We'll see. Maybe after this next set. Uh, Wall of Swords. Another Diabolic Tutor. And Door of Destinies. I actually need one of these for my uh, Tribal EDH deck. So that's good. And the foil. Something sweet. <gasps> Pillar Field Ox. Yay. That's actually a pretty cool looking foil. I mean, it's really shiny. Horrible card. It's full. On the Theros. Theros, Theros. Um, looking back, I kind of wish I'd get an extra core set and one less Theros, but I don't know. I need stuff out of both sets. So, uh, I've seen this guy, seen him play. And uh, some standard and block got cores. Uh, Phalanx later. We'll do a Porphyros, Shipwreck Singer, and Fabled Hero. Just bring all the beats. Hero heroic Double Strike. Um, I don't know. Getting the guy up to like a 4-4 or 5-5. Seems pretty good. Uh, lightning Strike on the front. That's a good common. Ordeal of Erebos, Triton Tactics, um, Century of the Underworld, yeah. And a Mist Cutter Hydra, which is a very good. I actually run one of these in the sideboard of my uh, my Simic, um, Simic Devotion deck. Basically, it's a blue Devotion deck, splashing green for uh, Master Biomancer, Simic Charm, and some other random stuff. Uh, but yeah, this in the sideboard. Oh, Sylvan Carriages. But I put this in the sideboard for the mirror match because the blue deck has almost zero ways of beating this besides Cyclonic Rift. So and we got a full in this one too, the Return Centaur. It's a zombie centaur. So it's a pretty cool creature type. It's no um, elf snake druid like a coin oracle. It's a 
zombie central. It's not bad. The card's awful. But yeah. The creature type is not bad. Uh -huh. Stone Shock Giant of Sea God's Revenge. That's Decorated Griffin. Yep. And hey, Colossus of Akros. Have you heard this card? You know, getting around, seeing some, some play out of it. Some one of them in some deck. But I'm not even sure which deck it is, but one of them in some deck. Here's your first pick pull card. Um, in Theros Limited. Alright, Ordeal of Erebos. Uh... Pragma Warcaller, yeah. Uh, Blood, no, Insatiable Harpy, the better of the two Harpies. And, Centessa, or, and Sousa, Centessan Hero. There we go, I'm trying to say that right. And no fool with the Soldier token, it's actually the same one you use for Elspeth, so. Not bad. On to the older packs. I'm going to go Dark Ascension first. Um, not a whole lot in here. Infinitely hard to open in <laughs> those ones. Wow. Um, I take like a, um, you know, a sword. And, um, there's some good stuff cards. That's nice. There's some real stinkers too, so I'll probably get one of those. We'll see. And I miss you know, in a stride block one to so much. Fun. Like you build around one card and it'd be awesome. And they had the flip cards, which I can see on the back. I don't want to see all this. Um, Black Cat, Young Wolf, got the Relentless Scob, uh, Pyre Heart Wolf, uh, Wake Dancer, and Flare the Hate Bound. It's card. Zombie, uh, vampire Token for Soren, and Soul Caesar. Basically, if you hit them with it, it's mind control. Five. Um, which one? This one. I'm gonna say this is the last. Like I say, it's probably gonna be another a stinker rare too. But uh, it's just play the hate. Now not horrible. I, I cast that card a fair amount of times. So. Uh, Innistrad, Innistrad had some really awesome uh, rares, kind of like um, Return of Ravnica does, but not quite the same on the rare level. They've got some really good mythics, but, you know, it's out of standard, so some of the value is gone. Uh, what's this? Seek the Horizon. Uh, Assassin Strike. Hey, it's playable uh, Judge is Familiar. And an overgrown too. Sweet. Fetch land. Not fetch land. Shock land. You know what I mean. So, yeah. All day shock land. This one actually could use an extra one. Okay, on to the Innistrad. Um, once again, you forget. Come up with better. I don't know what you want to call it. It's tougher to get into these packs. The new ones can kind of just rip apart so easily. These aren't bad now. Anything good? Ah. Uh, good old sharpened pitchfork. Galvanic juggernaut. Wreath of Geist. And. Put me on it one time. Nevermore! <laughs> Boo. Flip card. A flip bat vampire. Screeching bat. Eh. Wah, wah, wah. So, we opened a lot of packs. We got some things. Um, see if I can do a quick recap. Find that one other rare. There we go. 
We don't want to forget that one. So we've got Wild Ricochet, Nevermore, Overgrown Tin, the winner. Uh, this is a good uncommon, I'll just throw it in here, just it's familiar. Flare of the Hate Bound, uh, Satessin Hero, um, Colossus of Acros, a foil, Miscutter Hydra, pretty good. Fabled Hero, could be good. Um, for and Dual Destinies, which I'm actually going to use. So, all in all, um, did I get the value back out of the packs? Probably not, but since I used a gift card for it, and I like opening packs, I can't complain. So, uh, thanks for watching. Check out my channel for more uh, pack openings, deck techs, um, some moto gameplay as well.